It's time to answer your questions in Ask the Doctors. And this first question comes to us from a working mom who also happens to work here in the show. She's our director of publicity, our friend Kate, and her husband, Brian, join us. What's been going on with Goldie? Goldie will not take a bottle. We started when she was about eight weeks, and she's 13 weeks now, and no luck. Our house is like a bottle graveyard. We have tried so many different kinds. We have tried everything, and my poor husband has to drive her to the set three times a day, and we feed her in the parking lot. <laughs> so, and he works nights. It's not good. We need help. Well, that's why you work on a show called The Doctor. <laughs> And sitting next to you, we invited registered nurse and lactation consultant Jada Chatterjee. I'm going to let you take it away because Kate and Brian need some help. So first of all, it's normal and common <coughs> that babies do not want to take the bottle. And that's okay because we have a lot of options. So what does she do when you give her a bottle? How does she respond? She just doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, she kind yeah. of, yeah, she's like, what's this thing in my mouth? Yeah. This isn't mommy. Yeah. Get it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we follow the baby. That's my motto. Okay. We follow and we listen to her. That's how she's communicating with you. So what I have to share with you is a cup. You can feed your baby using a cup. Very simple. It's a plastic cup. You would put your milk in this cup, okay? And then you would hold your baby in an upright position. And watch what happens when I just place the cup to her. Hey, look how smart she is. See, she will drink from a cup. Okay. okay, she'll do the same thing with a spoon. Hi, Mama. Hi. I know, right? Yeah, look at that, right? So if I police milk on here, I know, right? <laughs> no more parking lot feeding, please. Yeah. Um, and then you would just follow your baby's cues on feeding and then making sure that, you know, you are looking at her, having her in an upright position. Hello, yes, she's like, you have an answer. Yes. And then making sure that you see her sucking and swallowing. I would always recommend following up with the occupational therapist okay. just to make sure that everything in the oral anatomy is all good. But other than that, we've got answers to that. Very common concern. It. it looked like that was successful. Um, so I was gonna ask you for people watching at home, when baby doesn't wanna take a bottle, is that your number one tip or trick for success? Like try using a cup or a spoon, is that usually successful? Definitely, and it's always successful because the baby will naturally reach for what they smell. They have an oral anatomy that allows them to know anytime that they put anything to their mouth, they're gonna automatically reach up for it and then she will do what is natural because this is a well baby. Jada, I know you have a surprise. Yes, so I'm gonna offer you lactation consult in order to Aww. properly show and demonstrate how to do this That'd safely. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you With so me. much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jada, can't thank you enough, and we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge how beautiful Goldie is. I, I mean, yeah. Such a beautiful, beautiful girl. Absolutely, so and she looks very well rested, if I may say so myself. She had a little hair and makeup. <laughs> good luck and not so much. <laughs> Goldie, good luck with the feedings. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for sharing.